Hello, my name is Ahmed Al Ghandour. I'm an application engineer at Ozen Engineering. Today, I'm going to show you how to model trace reinforcement using Sherlock and ANSYS Mechanica. Let's start. When you have a PCB, you bring it to Sherlock, you will have a lot of component, such as um, if you look here, we have different component included here. We will have also uh, different layers. You can see a lot of details happening here. Uh, to model the reinforcement, we need to transfer the system to ANSYS Mechanical as well as the reinforcement. First step is we will go to any of the solution here and then right click and then export FEA model. Okay, once we do this, we just give it a name. Okay, with extension WBJN, specify location and then we specify if we want layer or not. So in this case, we want the layers. So we'll select layer so we can have the different layer of the PCB because we'll need that for the uh, traces reinforcement. And then export file. Once you do that, it will automatically transfer your model into uh, ANSYS Workbench project where you will have all the components and also all the materials. Once the exporting uh, finished, we will see we have a, now a workbench showing the material, the geometry, and this mechanical model that allow us to do the meshing. And we will see that this component here is created. Okay, so if you look in the geometry, you will see all the different component transferred from uh, Sherlock, including the different layer of the BCP. And we will see also the different material used and it will be directly assigned to the different uh, parts. And then you will need to do the meshing for this part. We'll talk about that later. So now we have transferred the geometry, we need to transfer the layers. So if you look under files here, we'll see the copper layers. If I click and see view trace model, we will see here that diff uh, the, this is the layer number one, copper traces. And then you can do the same with every one of these. We'll see everyone has its own different uh, distribution and, and layer. So, so to transfer the traces, we'll go one by one, right click and say generate trace model. And then you can keep the default and click save. Okay, so I'll, you will repeat this for every layer. Once you are done with all of these, you can come here to any of the solution, uh, any of the analysis, and then you say, right click and say export trace reinforcement. Once you do that, you will see it's creating a step file and then you can just export it. Once you exported the step file, you can go to uh, your, uh, your uh, workbench and you can import another mechanical model under component system. You will find a mechanical component, uh, sorry, mechanical uh, model, bring it here. And then you can start attaching uh, to a space claim. You can import your uh, step file uh, that you will be used for your analysis. One thing you can do if we open the traces here in space claim, we'll see that there is some uh, extra stuff. You, you might remove it depending on your, uh, your model. So that's up to you and up to your model. So I'll show you here some cleaning could be done to facilitate the traces uh, reinforcement process. Okay, so now the model now is loading. Okay, so you can see here the different layers. All the layer are imported. And then this is how it looks from the top view. And if I, if I show you a side view, you will see, we can see the different layer included here. So what we can do as a cleaning, we can simply remove that frame and uh, 
We can remove the frame and the uh, fixing point. We don't need this fixed point. So we can easily select these ones. And we'll repeat that everywhere, okay? And then we will go back here and open the model because there's some important steps must be done here, which is basically defining the uh, layer thickness and also the uh, type brief of reinforcement. Until this is loading, one thing you can do from the mechanical here, you can, if you zoom in here, you will see the different layers are the thin ones here. You can easily, let's go back. You can easily uh, select an edge. And then you can select this layer here so you can know exactly what is the thickness you want to define for every layer of this, uh, for, for the traces. So now, once we know the thickness, we can go back to the mechanical system that Im imported the traces. Okay, we see now the traces are loaded. Obviously you have question mark because there is no thickness. So you can assign for each layer specific thickness. Now for the quick demo, I'll just define one thickness for all of them. So I'm gonna say point Oh, one, six, six. Okay. So now thickness is defined. One other thing you need to do, and instead of using model type, you want to change this to reinforcement. Okay. And then you can mesh the, the reinforcement as well. So we will mesh the reinforcement and we will mesh the, uh, the component. And then once we did done the mesh, we will couple them in, an, in a static structure by connecting them to the model. And then inside this, let me show you one I already did. Uh, you will have different uh, contacts appear. You will suppress the reinforcement contact and you will suppress the contact between uh, the, uh, the reinforcement and the component. We only want the component that between the BCBs uh, component only. So make sure you suppress all of these. And then you will see you will have BCB component, you will have reinforcement, assuming you called first one here BCB, the second one here uh, reinforcement. So when you do that, when you do that, everything will be named here under BCB or reinforcement. Once you do that, the mesh will be already transferred you can see here the mesh of everything, okay? And then we can then apply thermal load or mechanical load or whatever type of analysis you define, and then we'll be able to, to get stresses, deformation uh, for the BCB and the components or for the reinforcement itself, as you can see here. So this approach will help you to have the most accurate uh, representation of the traces uh, after you define the, uh, uh, the location, the thickness and the material. One thing I forgot to mention here is when you come here, you make sure that you change the material because they by default will be structured steel. You can define your material like copper alloy or any other material you would like uh, to use. And once your everything is defined, your model is completed. So to wrap up things, you export the FEA from uh, Sherlock, you export the step file from Sherlock, you import them for the, for the traces, you can clean it in space claim, and then you define it as reinforcement, and then you can change the material to copper and uh, delete or suppress any contact that is not between the component of the PCB, define your load, and then finish your solution. Uh, that's it for today. Uh, thank you so much.